So, hello and welcome to lesson 6 of our study of mathematical biology. So, in this lesson, we will talk about the SIR model with vital dynamics and force of infection. <coughs> so, note that we've been talking about the SIR model, but it was without vital dynamics and force of infection. So, I'm Guido Ken Rindolph, the final year student of mathematics at KNUSD. And I'll be taking you through this lesson. So before that, um, what do we mean by force of infection? And what do we also mean by vital dynamics? So when we're saying vital dynamics, it's the same as demographic effect. It means in this model, death rate and birth rate were included. Then when we talk about force of infection, so force of infection, lambda, is the rate at which susceptible individuals acquire an infection. Okay, so these are the two different things that we are going to add to the SIR model that we already know. So, Kemak and McKendrick in 1932 worked on another model. So the SIR model without vital dynamics was in 1927. So in 1932, they worked on another model. And this was an improvement of the SIR model without vital dynamics or demographic effects in 1927. So in this model, they included birth and death rates. Very important. Okay. So let's look at the compartmental diagram for the SIR model with vital dynamics and force of infection. So our beta is the transmission rate, which we already know. Our gamma is the recovery rate, which we know. And here our mu is the death or birth rate, which was introduced to our previously known SIR model without vital dynamics to give us the SIR model with vital dynamics. So what this mu stands for is, you know, birth rate. You know, as people are born into the population, they become susceptible, right? So that's the reason why we have this mu here going to the susceptible class. And the other mu's are death rate. So this mu here stands for those who are in a susceptible class and die from other circumstances apart from that particular infectious disease. So maybe it could be through accident or any other thing. And this mu also stands for those in the infective class who die from any other thing apart from the infectious disease. And this mu here also stands for people who have recovered and died from other means okay aside the infectious disease so that means this birth rate <coughs> adds to the susceptible class and the rest of the mu's which are death rate you know they take away from the various classes so now let us derive our system of differential equations. So the SDT will be equal to mu times n. You know, the mu is the birth rate for this times the population minus beta si over n minus mu s. So <coughs> you consider this is very similar to the previously one that you know. That's the SDT equals minus beta si but here we have minus beta si over n because of the force of infection that's why you bring this in then the mu here the mu here are the birth and death rates we've included so the first one is for the birth rate and the second one is for the death rate so using the same thing this is going to give us our di dt so this one too is very similar, except that here we have over n. 
to represent a force of infection and you have minus mu i to represent those who die from the infective class right then uh, the rdt also becomes this this is the only thing that we have here so we have these three new equations okay from the sir model with vital dynamics and force of infection so when we get here we do something that we call scaling so in the scaling we let a certain s small s represent capital s on t r represents capital r on t and the small i represents capital i on t so that means that our capital big like our capital s will be represented by this our capital r by this and our capital i by this from these relations so differentiating both sides will give us what we can see here so we have capital like the capital s dt will be equal to n the small s dt the same applies to this and the same applies to this as well okay so here there is n here mm -hmm. okay so you know after having this we make substitution into our main formula right so you can see that here we're having capital d s d t we're having capital s and capital i's and capital r's so we are going to make substitutions so making substitution into the first equation is going to give us n d s d t will be equal to mu n minus you know wherever we find capital s we put what small s times n wherever we find capital i to put small i on n over n minus mu s n right so you can see this n will count one of these then this will give us this all right so you can see that on the right hand side we have n being a common factor so we can factorize that one out and when we do that we get this after getting that we can cancel them and this gives us this we call this equation for so this is the equation we get for the sdt after scaling it so most of the time we scale it to get rid of the n okay so in equation 2 we are going to have this by making a substitution so this n will cancel one of these n's we end up with this we factorize n out since a common factor we get this we take the n's away and we have this equation 5 then for equation 6 it is obtained by you now we have this straightforward then we can factorize the n's out and they go away then we have this called equation 6 so that means after scaling them after taking away our n's our new equations are what we can see here so equation a equation b and equation c okay so these are the equations we get after scaling the three equations we had so after that one assumption of the sir model is that the population is constant so we have to justify that right okay so you know um srt plus i of t plus r of t is equal to the total population because the total population n was divided into three classes that is acceptable class s of t the infective class i of t and the recovered class r of t so dividing through by n is going to give us this okay so you can see that when we're doing a scaling our small s of t corresponded to this this is corresponding to this and this corresponded to this and n over n gives us one so here we've expressed the various classes as a proportion of the total population so take note of this carefully so to 
show that population is constant, we need to add equation A, B, and C. So these are equation, the equations. So A, B, and C. Okay. So adding them, we are going to get the SDT plus the IDT plus the RDT will be equal to mu minus beta SI minus mu s all right this is for the first part the sdt and the second part gives us beta si minus gamma i minus mu i the second part and the third part gives us this so from here we can see that this and this go away and what else this and this also goes away so now we have ddt of s plus i plus r will be equal to what we have here all right but you can see that we can factorize mu from these three things so when we do that we are going to get mu minus mu of s plus i plus r but note that our s plus i plus r is equal to one that's from this place right and I told you to know this carefully. So making substitution, we are going to get mu minus mu times 1. And mu times 1 is mu. So we get mu times mu, which will give us 0. So that means now we'll have ddt s plus i plus r equals 0. And integrating both sides, we are going to get s of t plus i of t plus r of t equals the integral of 0 dt. And when you integrate zero, which is a constant, um, if you should integrate zero, you are going to get a constant, right? So and that means that s of t plus i of t plus r of t is equal to what? A constant, meaning our population is constant because s of t plus i of t plus r of t will give you our population. So our population n is what? Constant. So hence we have shown that the population is constant. Okay. So the second thing that we want to do is to find the basic reproductive number R0 for the SIR model with vital dynamics and force of infection. Okay, so if you could recall from our previous videos, we said if we are finding the basic reproductive number, we take the disease class. And in this case, the disease class is the IDT and we set it to be greater than or equal to zero okay so from our disease class we set the idt to be greater than or equal to zero so that means that we will have this All right and we can bring this one to the right hand side that gives us this then we would want to make this side one so that means we have to divide through by Gamma, um, gamma plus mu all times i so when you divide here this goes here and we have one so we have something like this right so here to i cancels i and we get beta s over gamma plus mu is greater than or equal to one all right so this expression here is very important this inequality is very important and also note that for a disease to spread our basic reproductive number should be greater than or equal to 1, right? So, comparing these two inequalities, it means our R0 is equal to beta S over gamma plus mu. So, that means that for the SIR model with vital dynamics and force of infection, the formula for computing our basic reproductive number R0 is beta S over gamma plus mu. You get it all right so that's all for this video so a recap of what we learned we learned about what the SIR model with vital dynamics and force of infection is what we mean by force of infection and vital dynamics we wrote the compartmental model and um, diagram for it we derived the equations and we justify the Population being constant, and we found our basic reproductive number R0. Okay, 
and that's all for this lesson so in our next lesson we will talk about the qualitative solution of the SIR model with vital dynamics and force of infection so thank you very much and see you in the next video